crafts they're bringing candy for um you know for holidays and they're like giving their all so that's one thing i can say in the hospital i feel like people are more passionate about what they do and you know and i think another reason why there's less drama in the hospital is because there's so little time for there's like a so little time for drama because like i said in the hospital anything can pop off when you're working in the hospital anything can pop off at any moment so it's just more cute it's just way too many new people coming in people coming out that you have to be alert that you have you really have no time to be focused on drama so i feel like that's the reason why they're is less drama and that gives me another brings me to another thing whether you work in a nursing home and work in a hospital anything could pop off in the hospital things could pop off in a nursing home people people can code and fall always do your miscellaneous work first get it out of the way if you're having a good day i think whether you work in the hospital or nursing home that's the number one advice i can give you if you're working if your day is going so well you're like wow nobody's fighting you know in the hospital or nobody is coding in the nursing home everybody's eating their food no one's choking no one's falling Ooh, my cnas are working well with me or my mhts are working well with me this is the time to get your work done get all the little miscellaneous work done get all your progress works done because the last thing you want is for something to pop off and then you're gonna have to deal with that issue and then you're still having to stay extra after work even after your nurse has relieved you just to finish paperwork you don't want that and then you have to return the next day especially if you're doing four 12s in a row or three 12s in a row you're gonna be dead you're gonna be so upset especially if you live far from your work and you have to drive an hour oh you're gonna be so upset so i mean some things you cannot help but if you can help it guys just finish whether you work in a nursing home or a hospital just finish all the i don't want to say stupid little but just finish all the miscellaneous work oh get it get it done finish all your assessments finish all your progress notes finish all your medications your treatments do everything do the heavy wounds the dti's the deep you know the heavy ulcer stage four do all those things get it out the way get it out the way out of sight out of mind and then when something pops off if something pops off you can just deal with it and if nothing pops off then great you had the whole day to finish your work you could spend more time talking to the patients building that report and the next day you're gonna see your day gets even better because the patient saw that you took the time to spend to talk to them because your day was good all right so that's another thing like in the hospital, like you really, really have to take the hospital and nursing home. You really have to take the time, but especially in the hospital, you really have to take the time to talk to these patients, especially because they're kids, because you need to be able to build that rapport. That means I cannot tell you how many times a fight was about to erupt, but because I have a good rapport with that kid, we talk, the, the fight doesn't erupt. And sometimes you, you know, you can't uh, help it. Sometimes if things pop off, things pop off. But a lot of times you can prevent it by talk, like by simply talking to the patient, simply saying, how are you? Because, you know, in some of these hospitals, there's not a lot of resources. There's not, uh, there's not, you know, it's an acute hospital. Like sometimes they just have groups, like sometimes, you know, they may not have that extra outlet to talk to, or maybe they want to talk to you. Because they see you, oh, wow, she's the charge nurse. Like, they may look up to you like, wow, you know. And they, maybe they want to talk to you. I've experienced that because, you know, like I said in my previous videos about my psychiatric hospital experience, it's like when they see you, like, especially me, like if I, when I work in the kids' unit or even when I work in an adult unit, um, not to boast, but... <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but too, too. I think I have really good energy and I patients sense that I care about them. So they do want to talk to me. So I do try to make the most amount of time to talk to them. Because sometimes, guys, sometimes I do need a, sometimes a patient does need a PRM, but sometimes it's not a medication. Sometimes they just want to talk to someone. Like, really, they just want to talk to you. All they do is want to talk to you. So when you have that off time, talk to them. If you're working in a nursing home, if you have that off time, turn them or 
uh, ask CNA, did you need something or whatever? That's one thing, working in the hospital and working in a nursing home. Guys, make sure your uh, subordinates, those who are working under you, make sure that they, they take their breaks. Guys, I always ask, did you take your break? Did you take your break? You want to know why? You guys want to know why? I always ask my CNAs, do you take your break? Go take your break. The CNA will be like, oh, I have to give this patient food. I will feed them. Go take your break. Because if your CNA is tired, if they are, or if your MHT is tired, they're overworked, they're going to, their work is going to be, can be, can be subpar. And then that's when you have a patient fall on the floor in the nursing home or in the psych. That's when you have a fight erupt. So do yourself a favor and make sure your subordinates are taken care of too. That's what I'm saying. Like when you're a leader, yeah, it could be nice to wear the title charge nurse, but you have a lot of responsibility that people do not see. That's why when people are jealous and stuff like that, I like shake my head. I'm like, if only you knew like how much work it is. But I guess the person would have to be in that position to see. It's a lot, a lot of work. It's a lot of responsibility and it's a lot of liability. So get your malpractice insurance. <laughs> get your malpractice insurance whether you're LPN or an RN. You're welcome. So I get my suit NSO. But anyways, yeah, to conclude this video, would I rather work in a nursing home or a hospital? So, to be honest with you, at this point in my life, mm, if money is not an issue, if money was not an issue, I do enjoy working in a hospital just because I like psych, okay? I also like maternity. Like, if God give me the opportunity one day to work in maternity for the right price, though, because I'm not about to lowball myself just to get maternity experience because sometimes when you are a new nurse or new to a specialty they don't want to pay you as much but so if the pay looked good and I had the opportunity and God was like here maternity I was like oh yes because I like maternity I do and I like peds like kids like babies and stuff um but I would say I prefer working in the hospital more just because of all the reasons I listed like the main reasons is because it's um, less physically taxing in your body. I don't have to stand and give a bunch of people medications. Um, well, I, I haven't done medications in the psych hospital. I just did charge nurse. Um, number two, you grow a lot more in the hospital because you're constantly being forced to face new patients, new situations. Um, number three, it's just different because I've been doing LPM for eight years. And, like, it's boring to, to do the same mundane thing. And it's just less petty drama. There's drama, yeah, but it's less petty drama. Like, you, you, you can stay out of drama in the hospital. But sometimes in a nursing home, even if you're quiet, you don't say anything to anybody, people will pull you into drama. I mean, that's everywhere, but <laughs> guys, for sure. But if you're working in a nursing home, like, don't feel bad. Like I said, I did it for eight years. Don't do it as long as I did. Unless you have a plan or something. Unless you, I, all I'm saying is, if you work in a nursing home, don't stay working in a nursing home. I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna keep it hunted with you guys. Don't stay working in a nursing home. Try to try something different. Work in the jail. Work in the um, clinic. Uh, uh, I don't know. I did something called. Uh, what's that thing called? I don't remember what it was, but I did a job where I would help people on an act, help people on an acting set. I was a PA. I think that's what you call it. But I would help people on the acting set. Just do different things, because um, yeah, working in a nursing home is really hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but working in a hospital could be hard too. But yeah, I think it all just all depends on what fits you, okay, guys. And um, so yeah, guys. I mean, it's turn of the schedule. Some nursing homes do allow you to work twelve, so it doesn't matter twelve eight, twelve eight. It really doesn't matter, guys. So yeah, guys. So that's it for the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave it down in the comments below 
what video you want like to see next from me. I hope you guys are having an awesome new year.